Hi friends, today we are going to talk about something which is everyone, whether you use ECC6 or S4 HANA, you will be using. That's what is it called workflow. Workflow everyone uses, but most of the workflows that people use, it's generally for an approval or some action. And when, and you can't expect the person to, let's, let's just talk, the person to log into SAP all the time. So what happens is, suppose I go to SPWP. Okay, so that's the business workplace. And here I have lots of workflow items. And here I want, suppose, only the approvals only to come for uh, for certain decision tasks. Like, suppose I want approvals, I want to get email approvals. Like, I, it should tell me that there is a approval waiting for me in my inbox through an email. So I want only for this type of task. Okay, so what I have to do is, it's not possible lots of times I get a lot of questions that, oh, I never get an intimation that there is something in your SAP inbox. This is a standard report that you have to just execute. But before you execute it, there's, there's some certain conditions you have to fulfill. Okay, so first thing is you have to find all the tasks, dialog tasks. So how will you find the dialog task? Here is the, suppose the workflow. I go here, I click here, and here I go to this this particular item, okay? And here we will just click on extras and we'll click technical data. And here you can see this is the task, okay? So this is the first thing that I have to do. So I copied this task number. Now I'll go to SC38, okay? And the program name is RSWUWFML2. Okay, and here you execute. Now here you will be scheduling the this program based on this. So the generally the person who will be scheduling will be a WF batch or SAP underscore WFRT. So here I'll just put the task number. Okay, and here you can select new work items only with passive substitution. So generally you will say new work items only with passive substitution. So if someone has already been substituted, okay, then the person who has been substituted with also will get the notification, okay. So here we will, we, you can select with passive substitution, it's up to you. Generally most of the companies use one message per work item. Collective message means you will get one, one intimation per day or something like that, okay. So here I will just click one message per work item. And here you always want to give add executable attachment, which is nothing but as a, a, a shortcut to your SAP inbox. So once you get the email, you just double click and you'll get it, okay? So I'll just click on this and I'll just here, I will just hit this, oops, where is my, execute button so now if you see this is and here if you want you can get all lots of information i think that's it and now what i'm going to do is i'll just execute okay the moment i execute okay uh, it will pick all the tasks that is with this number okay and if you see it will it has executed so let me see i didn't select type so i should have selected all so let me select all and let me execute again. Okay, now it will say zero work items because what happens is when you put run this periodically, it runs based on this job suffix, it picks up the delta for those work items. So what I can do is instead of doing this, I will just put work item creation date, probably let me see mm, what work item creation date I can put. I'll just change it to 2019. Okay, let's see. We want to see something. 2019 and we'll execute. And here you can see two work items were read, none were sent. Now you might say, why nothing has been sent? Okay, the, the reason something is not being sent is lots of times what happens is, there is some prerequisite in order to make this work. It picks up the email address from a particular transaction. 
So if you go SU3, that is the transaction where you maintain the user master. And if you don't have any email address attached here, it will not generate. Okay. So this is a must. So this is a prerequisite. So first thing what we did, I think it should this should be the first thing. We have to make sure that the email address is maintained. This, this is a trial system. That's why you don't have it. But if the email address is maintained, then we have to find the, the dialogue task. And then we have to run this particular program, schedule it periodically. Okay. So that's it. Uh, this covers email notification for any dialogue work item. And trust me, you are going to use it in, ev in any or every project you are working in SAP because they will be using workflow. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great day.